welcome to Pharma Digest channel. In today's session, we will learn nephrometry and turbinimetry. This analytical technique will be learned in two parts. In the first part, we will study introduction and basic principle. And in the next part, we will learn instrumentation and application. So watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe our channel Pharma Digest. So we'll start with the basics of nephilometry and turbidimetry. Nephilometry and turbidimetry are closely related analytical techniques based on the scattering of radiation by a solution containing dispersed particulate matter. Here you can check this phenomenon. When a radiation passes through a transparent medium in which solid particles are dispersed, part of the radiation is scattered in all directions giving a turbid appearance to the mixture. Before understanding the principle of nephilometry and turbidometry, there is one question. Why is the sky blue? Daytime sky looks blue on a clear day. The sky looks red at a sunrise. Why? And the answer is Relic scattering Scattering can be broadly defined as the redirection of radiation out of the original direction of propagation usually due to interactions with the molecules and particles. Reflection, refraction, diffraction, etc. are actually all just forms of scattering. Measurement of intensity of transmitted light is a function of the concentration of suspended particles forms the basis of turbidimetric analysis. In this diagram, you can understand the turbidimetric analysis. In nephilometry, the basic principle involved is the measurement of the intensity of the scattered light as a function of the concentration of dispersed phase. We can see this in given diagram. Light scattering is the physical character of the sample which will depend upon the various factors particle size, distance of observation, concentration of solution, molecular weights of particles, agitation of solution containing particulate matters, temperature of solution as it affects solubility of a component present in it, viscosity of medium, presence or absence of electrolyte or protective collides, number of particulate matter suspended, dimensions of particulate matter, wavelength of radiating beam, and refractive index of the medium. The choice between a nephilometric and turbidimetric measurement depends upon the fractions of light scattered. When scattering is extensive, owing to the presence of many particles, turbidimetry generally yields more reliable results. Nephilometry is preferred at a low concentration because a small scattered intensity against a black background is easier to measure than a small change in intensity of intense transmitted radiation. Thanks for watching this video. Please like this video and share this video with your friends. In the next video, we will learn about instrumentation and applications of nephilometry and turbidimetry. So stay tuned with the Pharma Digest. Thank you.